Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now, today we have... Hey, yo, man, we got Snoop Dogg claiming to be the first celebrity to whatchamacallit, man. Um, uh, we also got uh, Jay Leno talking about Will Smith obscenities being the most disturbing part. Um, uh, yeah, I'm going to get on that real quick, man. We also got Rihanna and ASAP Rocky News, man. What's going down with that? Waka Flocka talking about you can't trust rappers, man. And um, uh, that's about it. Again, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. Hey, yo, if this your first time... Yo, we got new people moving in over there, man. Let me see who's moving in across the street from your boy. You know what I'm saying? Again, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. Hey, yo, if this your first time, I see black ankles over there. I, hey, yo, if this your first time to the channel, man, be sure to hit that like button if you feel any part of the content. We definitely appreciate that. That notification bell's waiting for your tag. So go on and give it a touch. And the subscribe button's waiting for your subscription, man. So go on and touch that, too. Hey, yo, let's start this joint off with Dr. Waka Flocka, man. You know what I'm saying? Because I think the man earned an honorary degree or something like that. Check this out, man. I'm not like he can he ain't smart enough to be able to do it any other way. I'm just saying, I'm pretty sure it was an honorary degree. You know what I mean? Which means whatever he does, it was so ill that somebody was like, yo, we got to give you this award. Shout out for that, man. I'm, I'm waiting for somebody to give me an honorary degree. And check this out, man. Um, uh, the man made an interesting point about hip hop artists that struggle with leaving the streets behind. What the hell's the attraction and the allure of the streets? You see what I'm saying? Uh, he spoke with DJ Academics, who I am not, I know. And some people are like, yo, man, wh why are you trying to steal DJ Academics style? Fam, welcome to the world where sometimes people coincidentally sound like other people. You see what I'm saying? I'm like, these people are idiots. Well, my bad, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to trail off. Um, uh, what you gonna call it? He spoke with DJ Academics, right? And take a listen to what Dr. Waka Flocka had to say about artists not being able to lead a street line life behind take a listen oh i should think that right you know why it was happening for me i was bringing the lifestyle into rap mm. i wasn't supposed to do that what you mean was bringing the lifestyle into rap i mean all right put it like this all right i got electric wire right yeah i'm i'm, I'm from electricity hang though right but then I finally found out I could swim in water without getting shot. So I started swimming. I'm like, oh, this shit is cool. It's happy. But one day I drop a plug in that motherfucker and everybody get electrocuted. So is swimming dangerous? Or what you just did made it dangerous. Meaning that people are bringing danger into a lifestyle that pulled them out of danger. So you make it dangerous. Mm. So you can't tiptoe in one and walk in the other. You gotta put two legs, two arms, and your head forward when you walk. You can't go like this and this. I can't do that. I, I, I just can't trust a nigga trying to play balance in streets and music because ain't no balance. Either your street or your music. That's it. Hey, yo, man, that was beautifully put, man. Now, hopefully, hopefully, right, YouTube allowed us to play that. But just in case they didn't, because, you know, sometimes YouTube be acting funny, man. Don't be blaming Source. It ain't Source, okay? Essentially, Waka Flocka said that being in the streets is like holding on to an electrical wire and you finally realize you can swim without getting shocked. You know what I'm saying? If you let go of the wire, right? And folks go into music, swimming, and try to hold on to the streets, the wire. You know what I'm saying? The results, electrocution. That's a, to me, that's an excellent illustration, Doc. You see what I'm saying, man? It makes more sense when we consider electrocution and water around other people because the people close to the artists tend to get struck too by the street life, you know what I'm saying, that 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 the, the artist was trying to hold on to, man. We done seen this a million times. Yeah, that's an excellent allegory, Dr. Waka Flocka, man. I, I, I love when people utilize illustrations and allegories, man. You know what I'm saying? I think that um that that illustrate you know that that illustrates a lot when people do that man you know what I mean plus one of my favorite people used to use parables all the time um uh, look as we reported to you yesterday right what's my time looking like over here you like man you just got started all right all right fine I just got started listen we reported to you yesterday right the rumors concerning ASAP Rocky and Rihanna split being debunked that's right your boy celeb mentioned that yesterday man look if you ain't hearing me say quote or close quote. Take whatever I just said with a grain of salt. You see what I'm saying, man? We only want to deal with what folks be saying with their face, man. You know what I mean? Because anything else is kind of, you know what I'm saying, like rumors or gossipy and stuff like that. And I only want to deal with news. You know what I mean? What the folks be saying with their mugs. You know what I'm saying? Now, um, the Twitter user that was allegedly responsible for the rumor, it's uh, Louis uh, Roma, owned up and took accountability 
That's right, the word that everybody is afraid of, right? After the word Jesus is the word accountability. If Jesus ain't scaring the hell out of you, literally, right? It's the word accountability, man. Once I say Jesus, folks be tuning off with the quickness. You know what I'm saying? Because they scared. You know what I mean? Anyway, um, uh, Louis Villaroma took accountability and apologized for spreading the lie that ASAP Rocky and Rihanna broke up because of uh, some, some, some like the Fenty design. I can't, I don't remember the shorty's name. It was like Mawadi or something like that. Anyway, um, uh, the, the Twitter user took accountability and apologized for spreading the lie in a super stand-up move, right? They stated, this is super stand-up, I really like this. They said, quote, I'd like to formally apologize to all parties involved uh, with my actions. Um, wait, wait, my bad. Let me let me reread that, okay? I would like to formally apologize to all parties I involved with my actions and for my reckless tweets. I'm like, word? Is this an ap apology? They said, quote, I fully accept the consequences of my actions and any harm they caused. I have no excuse for it. I've been way too wrapped up in Twitter drama and unfortunately leaned into being messy as a brand, which is something going forward I'm going to move away from. Close quote. Damn. Yo, that was a smooth apology man that's one of the best apologies i heard in a long time now apparently that's technically better than the will smith apology but at this point i'm at the point where like we should start rating apologies you see what i'm saying man you like your apology would suck celeb whatever man yeah you know i mean look i'm afraid like a lot of my apologies would be that it would be whatever like whatever you know what i'm saying you'd be like that's your apology whatever Anyway, um, uh, that was a smooth apology, man. Apparently, there's a video showing a couple in a Barbados or something like that, man. You know what I mean? That I saw today. I saw it this morning while I was strolling through the through the lobby of Instagram. Funny thing is this. There is a blogger out there, right, that's still trying to double down on the rumors. <laughs> You're like, who's the blogger? I ain't going into all of that. You know what I'm saying? But you know who the blogger is because folks were in the comment section like, Ain't you in enough trouble? You see what I'm saying? <laughs> you like, yo, who the blogger? <sighs> I look, listen, listen, listen. I was strolling through the lobby of Instagram, right? And I bumped into this freestyle. Take a listen. I spit bananas since no one managed to kill Banano. Got bad grammar, but y'all don't quote me. I keep it bammer like Thor and I get low key. So keep a hammer and you can't touch this. About my chicken, you barely cutlets. These rappers is barely cutting the mustard. I, I'm so disgusted, so disgusted. I can't discuss it. If Metro Pullman can't even trust it, don't even touch it. Won't be a puppet. You bring me drama. I bring the ruckus. To be specific, won't really kick it. I bring the buckets. I be the roughest. Rooting, tooting, and slang shooting. No plan for losing, man. I'm just planning to clamor you. Damn, right? That's right, meth. Meth and Man still got it. You see what I'm saying? Look, I'm patting the fire off the sleeve of my clothes. You know what I'm saying? Because Method Man just blazed that joint. <laughs> Look, I done heard Luda with the freestyle. I done heard Method Man. You know what I'm saying? Who's next? You know what I'm saying? From, from like the old school to incinerate the joint, man. You know what I mean? I hate to even say old school, man. But who's left from the golden age of hip hop to come and incinerate? The microphone man because a lot of times let me tell you something man this is how bad lyrics have gotten now this is how bad it's gotten i'm listening to the song um i don't know it's from the movie encanto right where, where the little girl in encanto the girl ripped the microphone the little girl what's her name um mirabelle whatever she ripped the mic in a way that most artists today on the radio cannot do it I think the guy's name is Lynn Manuel that wrote the joint. Man, what, like, why is why do I not hear more of that on the radio? The joint was tight, man. You know what I'm saying? She was going into she was going into it. Matter of fact, can I play a clip? Nah, I'm not gonna even play the clip because y'all ain't gonna be able to handle it. Anyway, y'all uh, know the y'all know the joint, man. You know what I'm saying? You got kids, they be watching the Canto, man. All that music is better than a lot of the stuff that's on the radio, man. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, um, uh, let let me do my shout outs real quick, man. That that makes me happy. Your boy ain't feeling happy again. You like why? What, what? What is it now? It's the same damn thing, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's the same thing. It's, so you know, whatever. I don't even feel like going into it. Uh, what, what my shout outs? Are? You got your shout outs on deck, or you gonna keep running your jibs? Shout out to DJ Cheddar. Oh, look! Shout out to DJ Cheddar. DJ, DJ, come on, man, say it. DJ Cheddar said, "Don't come over here, neighbor. Don't come over here." All right, he ain't coming. DJ Cheddar said, "Yo, someone messing with your people, celeb? Yeah, somebody was messing with my people." 
He said, your people are our people, man. We the Celeb Source fam. So you just relax, point them out, and let the fam handle it, Celeb. We got you. Have a blessed weekend. You love my guy. We got you. God bless. Yo, shout out to DJ Cheddar, man. Holding your boy down. I appreciate that, man. You know what I'm saying? Nah, nah, nah. You know. Somebody was messing with my people, so you know what it is. I got so mad. I'm like, yo, man, I, I feel like I'm ready to I'm ready to go to prison for this joint, man. Cause I don't even like people talking about my people, man. And my people came at me like, uh, <laughs> you said worse things to me than they did. And I was just like, okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? I'm like, like I'm getting mad and, and my people's is like, mm -mm, like you the problem. All right, whatever. You know what I mean? That's my apology. My apology. Okay, whatever. Check this out. Bobby Parker came. <laughs> you like damn celebrity. It's like that. It's like that. It's like that. Bobby Parker came through and said, he's talking about Takashi 69 video. He said, because you remember Takashi 69 was pointing at all the watches and he was like, yo, man, this is a house. This is a house. This is a house. This is a house. Bobby Parker came through and said, those are not houses. Those are watches, fool. <laughs> I almost fell out the I almost fell out the car when I saw that. You know what I'm saying? I was driving too. You ain't supposed to drive in tech. Don't drive in tech. Don't be like me. Um, Dark Chocolate came through. Dark Chocolate Me 901 said, hey, celeb. Been watching you over a year now. Oh, we appreciate your, your time and attention, beautiful. She said, I just wanted to let you know. I love Celeb Source. Keep up uh, giving us the real. You my favorite blogger. Hey yo, man. We're honored, honestly. She said, yo, you you got me saying what's my time looking like when I check the time for it. She upset. Hopefully I make the shout out. Sis, you made the shout outs. Hey, yo, fellas, in the celeb source comments, you know the ladies are in the building, man. So uh behave. You know what I'm saying? Behave. Hey? G Bo's that coming through, my boy G Bo, right? My man came through and said, yo, can anybody show me a picture of Oprah Winfrey doing the stack of money call? Right? Or or the or the stretch of money across the arm. And once you answer that question, Go and check her net worth. You know what I'm saying? Real talk, man. When you got real papers, you ain't holding money to your ear, silly. You know what I'm saying? Because like what like what Lord Jamal said, he said, whatever the money is saying to you in your ear, it ain't no good. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm like real talk, man. You know what I mean? Uh, tu, tu, uh, tu, Dulani Toniella said, Robert Espinoza from yesterday's vid probably came back to see if you read his comment. <laughs> Once you watch Celeb Source, you hooked. He might unsubscribe, but he gonna be watching. <laughs> I'm like, hey, yo, man, that's the funny part, man. That make your boy feel good. You know what I'm saying? And lastly, Radar Rubenstein holding us down. Say, yo, I used to think I watch Celeb Source for celebrity news, but nah, it's for celebs entertainment. Really? Is that what we do? We're not. We we here merely for your entertainment. We're on. He said we get comedy, drama, thrillers, thrillers, thought provoking content. Content you meant? Uh, celeb even gives out shout outs to his haters. I. Uh, that's where you're wrong, Radar. When I'm talking to my haters, they ain't getting no shout out. I'm using them for content. You see what I'm saying? Shout out to you, uh, Radar, Radar Rubenstein, man. Let's get right back to it, man. Wrap this bad boy up, man. I'm starting to feel better now. Just talking to y'all, man. Uh, Jay Leno came through with a very interesting statement concerning um, what went down between Chris Rock and Will Smith. Jay Leno, oh, Jay Leno stated this. This is what he said. He said, to me, this is what he said. He said, to me. The thing that's most disturbing about Will Smith and um, uh, uh, Chris Rock, you're like, why are you screaming at me? Because your boy is excited, man. What, what the hell do you want? Okay, you tuned in, did you not? Jay Leno said this. He said, to me, the thing that's most disturbing wasn't the slap because he was kind of smirking after he slapped Rock. It was the yelling of the obscenities. Then you go, whoa. What's going on here? This is real anger. Close quote. That's the most disturbing part. Not the slap. T look, look, to me. And I understand I could be slow at times, right? But to me, the slap was done to Chris Rock and the obscenities was done to us. And, and, and l listen, you don't have to agree with me unless you genuinely feel the same way. But I feel like what Jay said was like, what was most disturbing is not what happened to Chris Rock on stage. What was most disturbing is what happened to us in our seats. Are you catching my drift, man? Like, he slapped the man and then he cussed, but you think the most disturbing part was the was when he cussed? Like, you know what I'm saying, in front of you and not what happened to Chris on stage, man? That. That's, a, that's like the story that I heard, right, this morning about a 17-year-old girl by the name of Obianuju Osugbu, right? 
um, she was killed in Barrow County, Georgia. Okay, she was hit by a woman that was under the influence of multiple substances, and the police were blaming the 17-year-old black girl. Oh, my bad, the 17-year-old girl, right, for her own death because they're saying her bicycle didn't have the lights on it. The driver, right? Uh, white lady, white lady. The driver had four drugs in her system, including meth and value. She was charged with DUI and endangering her own children that were in the car. Who, you know what I'm saying? At the time of the accident. But she is not being charged with killing the 17-year-old black, the 17-year-old girl. You know what I'm saying? What do you think is the reason for that? Ain't that like how the officer that killed Breonna Taylor was charged with endangering the neighbors in the other house and not manslaughter men? You know what I'm saying? For the unarmed tail. What's the issue here exactly? Like, what am I missing? The slap wasn't the most disturbing part. Whatever, whatever. Um, uh, and finally, listen, man, let me, let me ask you a question. Who would you say is the uh, first celebrity on the gram? <laughs> like, who would you say? N n listen, before you say Soldier Boy, th think about how old the gram is exactly. App apparently, the first celebrity on Instagram, according to Drink Champs and according to Snoop, is Snoop. Hey, yo, take a listen real quick. Nigga, I helped brand Instagram. I'm the first celebrity on Instagram, and they brag about that shit. They be Not Soldier Boy. No, nigga, Snoop Dogg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So they, they do symposiums where they have their conversations about how their company became a billion dollar company. So the CEO will have a little my, a headpiece on it. You know, when we first started Instagram, our company was a small company. And then there's this one celebrity that, you know, got on our page and started blowing it up. And then we became a hundred billion dollar company well, that you know that celebrity is. It's Snoop Dogg. And everybody in the crowd clapping and shit. And I'm just saying, they should have gave you equity. <laughs> Fuck talking about but it. They didn't, and that's that's what made me see that okay, even what I do for Corona, you know what I'm saying? When you see me in those commercials yeah. for Corona, it best go. Right. This is this is like this is a real nigga doing commercials for Corona. Now, now, hopefully that played because you know sometimes with the Drink Champs clip, they it don't be playing, man. Uh, when Nori asked Snoop Dogg if Soldier Boy was the first one on the gram, Snoop said, "Quote, Nah, Ninja, Snoop Dogg." They do symposiums where they have to have their conversations about how the company became a billion dollar company. So the CEO would have a little headpiece and on. And, um, you know, when we first started Instagram, this is what they said. They said, when we first started Instagram, our company was a small company. And then there was this one celebrity that, you know, got on our page and started blowing it up. And then we became a hundred billion dollar company. You know who that celebrity is? It's Snoop Dogg. This is what Snoop said about what she said. And Snoop says, and everybody in the crowd started clapping it is. Close quote. I think that's what I need on, on the channel. I need Snoop Dogg to be on my channel so the channel could blow up even further. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, no, no, no. You know what? I don't want Snoop Dogg because then everybody's going to say your channel only blew up because Snoop was on it. Um, would that be bad? Nah, I don't know. Hey, look, you know, can you believe I had a dream about Snoop Dogg last night, man? I'm a, I, we were sitting in the car driving around and I'm like, yo, bro, I said, Snoop, I, try, I be trying to be low key, fam. You know what I'm saying? But riding around with you, you, you eight for three, man. You got a constant cloud of smoke around you, man. You know what I'm saying? And then you're just looking at me like, bro, <laughs> like, let me off right here. You know what I'm saying? And you let us know what you, <laughs> I, I messed that up. And you let us know your thoughts in the comments below, man. Do you think you can get away with walking around with Snoop for one day? If you could walk around with Snoop for one day, like, I guess you can. You can. That's a dumb question to ask. I don't even know why I came up with that question. Man. I, I just don't have any other questions. What's your thoughts on what Jay Len Leno said about that? Was the worst part of uh, the Chris Rock and Will Smith slap? Was the worst part of that the obscenity that um, Will Smith said? Or was it the actual slap that happened to Chris, man? You know what I'm saying? Uh, what's your thoughts on Method Man's freestyle? Can you freestyle better? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Be sure to like. Be sure to subscribe. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. Your source. Celeb News.